Last time, I showed you how to install Pandoc on Ubuntu installed on WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux. Here I will introduce a tool to make the use of Pandoc even more convenient. In most specific, it is Pandoc Cider, which is an extended function tool of Visual Studio Code. This is very convenient as it allows you to easily insert the reference code by reading the bibliotech bibliography data and selecting the rest and the rest while creating text sentences. First, open Ubuntu on the WSL, then move to appropriate directory. Type code dot to open the Visual Studio code. Next, click the extension icon to the rest of the VS code and enter Pandoc in the search box. Then select Pandoc Cider in the search result list and click install. When the explanation page of Pandoc Cider is displayed, click reload and activate. You can now use Pandoc Cider. Next, you need to specify which bib file to refer to. First, open the markdown file to be edited. Add it to the top YAML definition plot. Bibliography, path name, slash bib file name. Insert one line in the form of. Since we are going to specify the myref one.b file in the current directory here, type bibliography column dot slash my ref one dot b save this file and close it open this file again and enter the text Enter the at key when you want to reference the reference. The rest of literature will pop up. As you move the selection, its details are displayed on the right side. After selecting the target document and entering the enter key, reference is completed. Save this file. Next, compile with Pandoc. Here, we are going to use Node.js as we did it last time. On the command line, type node make pdf 01.js sample 03. A pdf file has been generated. Open the file explorer on the VS code, select PDF file and display it. It was confirmed that reference and reference list were generated. It is OK. Thank you for your watching.